Hi, Earth Signs. I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join me as I read you your life, baby. So, weekend, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Spirit, you are welcome into this reading. All right, let's start with Capricorn. Uh-oh, we got cards flying. Okay, Capricorn. We're going to see their intentions. What they want. Possible outcomes. All right. So, here we go. Let go of control issues. Past life relationship. Chemistry, baby. An engagement. So, someone could be getting engaged, walking down that aisle, that wedding ring, okay, opening that coin purse for her. Chemistry, for sure, baby. So, you know, there's some attraction and things going on. There could be some things you need to let go of and let it unfold as well, is what it's saying here. So, let's see their intention. Okay, so, for the weekend, let's see these motherfuckers' intentions. Okay, could be dealing with possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini for sure, with the lovers here, also could be dealing with, um, Leo Sagittarius Aries so their intentions is to bring you some roses bring you back to the roses baby okay this person could be older than you they could be taller than you you could be younger than them but I definitely see here that there could be uh, this could be someone from the past it says you've known each other before so also this person's intentions with the ace of wands could be that there's some sort of love that they want to deliver to you or some sort of sexual passionate energy they want to bring to you a gift of some sort okay could be that there's some sort of broken union ship here with the lovers card here like i said you could be dealing with a gemini but i also feel like someone wants to come out of some sort of argumentative energy because of the union ship was broken or there was some sort of break that happened in the union ship but they want to come out of that energy is definitely what I'm feeling here. They have a lot of things that they could have had pent up. But also with the Ten of Cups. They could be wanting some sort of family life, love life, home life situation, love. Uh, but with the Tens, they could be wanting to start a cycle with you with some sort of family here. It's definitely their intentions. So they could be uh, dealing with some children as well. But it looks to me like someone has a hard time with some sort of uh, like a delivery of love possibly but i also feel like or it could be some sort of commitment as well so definitely be on the aware aware of that capricorn definitely could be dealing with cancer Pisces, scorpio possibly your sagittarius aries it could be in their sun moon arising shit but um i do feel like there could be some sort of love delivery that they want to send to you but there could be a blockage of love as well could be that there was some sort of marriage as well or an engagement that was broken uh broke off someone could have you know not wanted to accept that chance so let's see what they want okay what they want is some sort of delivery of emotion because they feel it could have been some sort of inju injustice here they're coming out of some sort of healing is uh definitely what i'm picking up here oh we got cards flying now the second time so somebody could be flying king of wands that leo sagittarius aries with his palace in his hands okay his passion in his hand ahead of him so could be that there was uh this person wants some sort of healing situation with this ten of swords in reverse uh and they're coming out of some sort of healing they also uh i don't see some sort of um uh I feel like there could be like two different parties here. Someone could be wanting to get married or there could be someone who's, uh, you know, skipping the altar. I also feel like they're trying to let their guard down or they felt like they went too fast on the situation because it was unjust. 
definitely could have been with someone um you know who was younger like i said or someone who has dark eyes or someone who has dark hair but they're they look fairly young they could be a drinker as well but they also could be promiscuous with the page of cups so be aware honey okay capricorn one more card yeah someone's coming out of a point of uh you know turning themselves away from so many uh, choices and options here is definitely what I'm picking up here is what they want they also want some sort of uh, equal give and take or there's uh, some equal give and take that they want here definitely could be some uh, love that they want to bring to you but it's just really light-hearted messages that's what I definitely see here so let's see about some possible outcomes oh, 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 oh. interesting so possible outcomes the emperors here my loves okay top dog this motherfucker wants it all he has it all okay he's got his onk and everything honey okay he wants some structure he wants you know that family home family life got he's got rewards awards coming home okay still climbing up that ladder so i definitely see that there could be uh, someone who's willing to deliver it could be him, he or she that wants to deliver some sort of love at that nut bush, baby. <laughs> so, um, with the King of Swords energy here, someone could be wanting to cut some things off and start to gain some sort of structure here. Or there could be some structure that they're wanting to gain. But it feels to me like they could be just delivering some sort of love or a message of um, passion with the Ace of Wands. <laughs> Also, with um, <laughs> the Page of Cups here, someone could be wanting to deliver some sort of news. Someone could be pregnant as well. Um, but I do see that there could have been that old energy that you're really kind of feeling off about. Uh, could be with that Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries possibly. But I do feel like someone wants to come rushing in, um, but they have a hard time like um, adjusting themselves to new situations. Um, they could be feeling like there's some sort of negative energy surrounded by them. But I do feel impossible outcomes. Someone wants some illumination. Um, they could be feeling like there's... Uh, you could be dealing with a Leo with the strength card in reverse. There could be some land travel as well, like I said. But I do feel like someone has blocked some sort of gift. Or there could have been some sort of blockage here. Or they feel like don't, they don't have um, enough gumption to or courage to stand up for certain situations is definitely what I'm picking up here. They know that they can deliver some sort of love, but they can't deliver possibly with land travel or traveling back and forth. So you could also be dealing with someone who feels like, um, you know, there's a love situation that they want to celebrate or a union ship possibly, but someone is definitely having to release and let go. Main part of the message, but definitely some love here, but they're having to release and let go. Look at him. He look like he is holding on like, bitch, that is mine. Okay. So, definitely some love here this weekend. But it's definitely some uh, things that you're going to have to, uh, you know, definitely be aware of that this person wants and what they need and what everyone is able to um, conjoin together. So, be aware of that, Capricorn. All right, to my dearest, dearest Virgo, okay, let's see what's popping, baby. All right, here we go, Virgo, weekend, make sure you hit that like button, heart to heart conversation. Okay, so you might have to get real. Romantic feelings here too. So there could be some romantic feelings you're needing to explore. And they're worth it. So definitely be aware of that. Virgo. Uh, true love here. There's a romance of a lifetime. So you could be dealing with a true love. And there's definitely some attraction here. So you could be, um, you know, starting to see some truths and needing to have a real, uh, real time conversation with yourself or with your partner about, um, you know, what you're wanting so definitely be aware of that um also you can be smelling them pheromones baby so here we go Virgo. let's see their intentions 
their intentions. Their intentions. All right, guys. Let's see what's going down. Could be dealing with some family situations here. Wow. Okay. So there definitely could be some spying going on with the page of swords. Uh, someone could be definitely wanting to take a look in a book reading rainbow in this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> they could be, uh, you know, saying, uh, looking but not saying with the page of swords. But I do feel like uh, this person could be younger than you. But I do feel is that there could be some family situations is their intentions that they're really trying to take care of and release some burdens with the ten of pentacles right next to it and also the ten of wands definitely a lot of tens here could be going through some sort of cycle or rejuvenation of letting go also dealing with family that could be for some of you as well but i do feel like uh this person's intentions is to have their guard up and they could be just spying uh there could be some sort of thought or idea that comes to them with the ace of swords where they're starting to see some sort of victory here you could be dealing with a leo sagittarius aries virgo so definitely be aware of this person uh they could be an influence to you or you could be an influence to them but i definitely see some sort of victory here it could be a possible cancer pisces scorpio virgo that you're dealing with but i do see that this person is having some emotions that you're needing to um rid yourself from and also uh you know share some love too with the ace of cups um so this person could definitely their intention could be that they're wanting to send some love to you but their emotions really aren't that well is definitely what i'm seeing here but they're uh starting to see the bright side with this uh wand energy here so definitely be aware of those intentions definitely dealing with leo sagittarius aries cancer pisces scorpio for sure all right so let's see what they want this person wants to leave away from a situation possibly or there could be some emotions that they're leaving behind with this cup energy also with the king of wands uh it could be that this person wants you know some sex period definitely some passions here or it could be that they're wanting to uh be passionate towards you you know take it for what it is <laughs> Also, they're wanting to continue some sort of, uh, they want to concentrate on one thing. It could be that they're wanting to concentrate on a passion. It could be that they're wanting to concentrate on um, the romance of the situation. It could be that they're wanting to leave away from a situation that they feel they have to have their guard up. And it could be that they're wanting to make some sort of choice or decision with their passion. I definitely feel that here. Also with the Ace of Wands, it could be that they're having a hard time with the delivery of how they love in certain situations. It could be that it's a mysterious uh, vibe surrounded by this person that you're dealing with or multiple people. Is what I could be picking up here. Someone could be dating as well is what I do see here. Um, but for as far as what they want, they want some sort of like mysteriousness too. They want some sort of uh, seclusion or they want to leave away from a situation to really think about their decisions. Also, it could be someone who's uh, juggling multiple things for sure that they're going to start making choices and decisions. So this is definitely for the weekend. Let's see about some possible outcomes. All right, Virgo, you could be dealing with someone who's definitely a lot of 10 energy here. Someone who's releasing some things that no longer serve them. So be aware of that. Also, with the Four of Pentacles, someone could be... Uh, since it's in reverse, someone is definitely releasing some serious toxicity here. It could be a rejuvenating of a passion. Um, it could be that someone's not really wanting to offer some sort of love with the Ace of uh, Cups in reverse here. You could be dealing with possible Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but someone has a hard time leaving away from the situation, but they're still kind of like, you know, trying to turn their back on it as well. Definitely a lot of spying energy here with you guys with the Page of Swords. Again, ooh -wee. So someone's looking, but they're not talking. Okay, but someone is wanting to leave some definite emotions behind so they can regain their emotions with the King of Cups here for sure. Definitely a lot of emotional cards. So you could be dealing with a lot of water uh, signs. This could be in your chart. This could be in their chart. But I definitely feel that there's a lot of emotions that people are getting ready to uh, let loose and transpire some new ones. Also with the Page of Wands energy, it could be that someone is wanting... Um, 
to uh, it could be that they're losing a passion they're trying to regain something back so they're going to try to balance multiple things here so definitely be aware of that this could be you this could be that person as well definitely see a lot of drinking with the three of cups here you could be dealing with you know uh friends sister brother whatever but definitely a third party situation i see it as a drinking carnival on this one you know for sure celebrating so um with the emperor uh with the empress here at the bottom of the deck i do feel like someone is uh trying to it could be that they're um not really nurturing a situation of some sort um this is your card so you know it could be that you're trying to regain yourself you need to get some sort of balance in nature so definitely be aware of that okay all right taurus last but not least and then collected all right here we go past life relationship make the effort and reconciliation someone from your past is returning in your life so someone could have left came back somebody old from back way back when past life relationship here so you've known each other before and make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take so there could have been some sort of separation and then a reconciliation so let's see what's going down all right my loves here we go could be some fast movement with the chariot card here you could be dealing with the cancerian definitely could be dealing with some heartbreak too i definitely pick up on that energy you guys are um you know kind of uh and suffering mode trying to you know get that kick back together so let's see what's going down on their intentions here we go Taurus. yeah definitely someone who is uh trying to take care of the coin king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn possibly leo sagittarius aries also cancer pisces scorpio in their chart everyone's pretty much here so far um i do see that their intentions could be that they're wanting to send some sort of messages with the page of cups so be aware could be a young uh young younger person younger than you um like i said could be somebody who's uh when i think of the page of cups i think of someone who has uh very immature energy so definitely be aware of that um i do feel like this person wants to leave away from a situation but they kind of want to come back and like seem all like happy and joyous and ah, you know but I do feel like they're wanting to get some sort of money situation together. Their emotions really aren't in check. They feel like they're kind of like, you know, manipulative. They could be manipulative as well. They could uh, have Leo on their chart as well. So definitely be aware of that. I do feel here. Um, this person could um, feel like they don't have the strength to pull through this situation they feel like they could be very explosive with the tower card here there could be some disruption or some energy that they're wanting to come out of you could be dealing with a possible leo like i said there could be a cycle that's wanting to restart with the world card here i do feel with the queen of wand energy that someone wants some sort of uh they're not really feeling in their element with um their passion or their passion towards this person also with the world card i feel like there's a cycle that can continues to happen Especially with this devil card here. Definitely someone from your past that you're dealing with. I mean, it's past separation cards, reconciliation, past, past, past cards. And then you got this toxic energy card. Someone from the past could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possible Capricorn in their chart. But I do feel um, that this person wants to come back to you. But you feel like it's some, some, it's some serious toxicity here. It's definitely what they're feeling. And also with their emotions with the Queen of Cups, they're wanting to... Uh, come out of that like you know emotional uh, damage that could have been done in this situation also there could have been some sort of argumentative energy that they're trying to come out of as well but with the ace of cups someone wants to deliver some sort of love but be aware of this uh you know devil energy this person having a hold uh you know on a situation because of this love situation that they're always willing to offer so definitely be aware of that uh, there's going to be some sort of communication. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo with the Sun card here and also with the Ace of Swords. So definitely be aware that this person wants some sort of clarity and inspiration and the communication will start to become clear. Okay. So beware of that type of energy. They feel it's some sort of toxicity here. So let's see about some possible outcomes. 
Okay, here we go. And then collect it. Could be some celebrating here with three of cups. Possible outcomes for wow, Taurus. There was some spying energy in all of the readings. All of the readings pretty much got spying. Page of Swords energy here. The Emperor here. Also the Eight of uh, Cups in Reverse. Tower energy here. Definitely a lot of explosive energy here. So definitely be aware of that. And this cycle that you feel is going to continuously happen. But someone is looking but they're not talking. So be aware that this person um, you know, wants uh to hold some things inside but then they have the tower moment so they're going to definitely let it loose or there's going to be a shakedown that happens definitely a change of pace that's going on um i do feel like um someone is really concentrating on how they're going to build some structure or means in this situation once they did restart or try to push forward also with the king of cups here definitely someone who's wanting to get their emotions in check so definitely be aware of that and there could be uh some sort of like shutdown that happens or somebody wants to like shut themselves off i do feel like with the knight of wand energy someone wants to come in you know on their high horse uh, wanting to command some things is definitely what i'm feeling here but i do feel like someone um they could be seeing that there's some karmatic situation here or there's going to be karma that is coming to them uh, and the illusions will fade away slowly but surely so this person could be uh, you know wanting to restart some things definitely a lot of recycling over and over again past things things like that is what I'm feeling here there could be uh, someone who's um, trying to restart some things but they want to um, they want to it's just going to be the same shit same energy pretty much so Definitely be aware of that. And someone's going to come to a conclusion. This could be you. They're getting ready to come to some major conclusion. The Magician card in reverse here. They feel like this shit is not going to manifest. I feel like this person is not going to manifest. So you're getting ready to draw a conclusion. You could be dealing with some money with the Ace of Pentacles here. But there's going to be some sort of love offer or some sort of offer coming to you. So definitely be aware of that with the Ace of Pentacles. Could be uh, a date as well. Or there could be um, something that you've been waiting for. A gift. So be aware of that. It's a collective read. Here we go. Let's see what's going down. Collective read for the weekend. My dearest uh, signs. Finance and career. Give your relationship a chance. Okay. So for some of you, someone uh, could be dealing with some sort of finances and career. You could be uh, really like, you know, that could be influencing some relationships right now. You could be um, definitely just taking care of your motherfucking business. Uh, there could be something that's going to happen in divine timing that could be happening for you. And it's definitely worth waiting for. This is the message, baby. Okay, so let's get a collective read. My dearest earth signs. Okay. Oh, wow. So definitely overall, someone wants to take some sort of leap of faith. It's definitely what you, I'm picking up here. The lovers is wanting some intangements between each other somebody's thinking about somebody in the sky holding the hand having a lot of uh intimate thoughts definitely what i'm picking up here also someone uh who wants who, who can't cut this out they can't cut this love situation out there could be some sort of third party situation or a heartbreak that's happening here but you know that um it could lead to a happy home as well because of this leap of faith with the full card here so definitely be aware of that and also uh, someone who's not really wanting to nurture a situation because it could be a distance between you two or there could be some sort of heartbreak between you two so you're not really wanting to give it you know too much of a thought but you do know that there is love here with the ten of cups uh, so which is quite interesting and I do feel like um, I do feel like there's somebody who's definitely holding some things inside and it's going to be explosive if they don't let it go someone needs to have the strength to let uh, you know some true true troops come out with the strength card here and also the high uh priestess someone needs to have the black and white revealed to them no longer no damn uh gray or area okay uh so this is definitely you know something that overall you guys probably might feel is that there are some truths that need to come out uh, about someone and their strengths and not to be a coward about certain things so definitely um be aware of that if you'd like a personal reading from me Hit that description box down below, my babies. I'll be giving away some free shit, um, some free readings. 
um, for this month. So stay tuned. Make sure you hit that bell button, my loves. And I will see you next time. Peace.